Welcome to the Cave of Wonders. I am Lord Callus of the Dreamwalkers. Today, in the Rancor Report, EA stands their ground while Jango Fett finds his way to the galaxy of heroes. And with the digital release of Solo, could we be looking at a sequel? This is the Rancor Report, and it looks like EA may be in a bit of trouble surrounding the loot box systems in FIFA 18, Overwatch, and Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This following the controversy ignited by Star Wars Battlefront 2 last year, when several states and many other countries outside of the U.S. began making the comparison between these loot box systems and gambling. Investigations ensued and Belgium was one of the countries that ruled these loot box systems illegal under Belgium gambling laws. Any games having such systems must be removed from the games within that country. While companies such as 2K Games and Blizzard complied to the ruling and disabled the loot box systems in Belgium, EA has chosen to stand their ground maintaining that its loot boxes are not a form of gambling. CEO Andrew Wilson states, and I quote, We don't believe that FIFA Ultimate Team or loot boxes are gambling, firstly, because players always receive a specified number of items in each pack. It's been reported that the Belgium Gaming Commission has contacted the Public Prosecutor's Office and a criminal investigation into EA has been opened. In other gaming news, Jango Fett joins the cast of bounty hunters in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. This notorious bounty hunter will be aligned with the dark side and will fall into the categories of scoundrel, bounty hunter, and attacker. No separatist tag for Jango, much the same as there is not an empire tag for Boba. Now, Django will be available in a marquee event to take place in about four days, but he will not be considered a legendary character. His abilities will include AoE, dispels, turn meter gains, healing immunity. His leadership abilities will have tenacity and critical and speed gains, and his Zetas will have Revive and Taunt. There are two Zetas. More to come with Django Fett's release in the next few days. Lastly, Solo A Star Wars Story was released in digital format. And in honor of the release, John Caston, co-writer of Solo and son of Lawrence Caston, he tweeted a thread including 53 random factoids and notes about the making and writing of the movie. Among those notes, most interestingly, number 52 answered the question, will there be a sequel? John said, and I quote, to be honest, I think the challenge has much more to do with the foreign box office than the US. Caston goes on to say that Given the way Hollywood and the culture at large seem to run from anything labeled as a disappointment, the odds seem like they are against it happening anytime soon. Caston gives praise to Ron Howard, Donald Glover, and other cast members, but we may have to wait some time before we see Darth Maul again on the big screen. Physical copies of Solo, A Star Wars Story will be released on September 25th. And that wraps up the news for the day. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. We are on our way to 100 by October. Let's get there. We're 15 away. 16, actually. Be that, be that one. 
Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, this has been the Rangor Report. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please let me know in the comments. And while you're there, like, subscribe, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. And as always, thank you for taking your time to spend with the Dreamwalker.